Aliens from ZX Spectrum, game based on the movie. I like the music, so I'll just let it play. So there we go, you've got six uh, characters from the movie to control, Ripley, Gorham, Hicks and all the others, all your favourites apart from that twat Burke. And you sort of go around, it's a first person view point, you go from room to room, there's a little number what says which room they're in, and you try to guide around this massive complex and it's fucking huge, you get lost all the time, because you, you, you go left to right, you, you, it's rubbish really, you don't know where you go and which direction you go and so you go back and forward anyway. You're looking out for the aliens. Talking of aliens, there's one of the bastards now, quit shooting. Use your smart gun, aim, fire. Now it's not like any smart gun I remember in the film because the smart gun was like a fuck off massive machine gun thing, wasn't it? You know, looked the bollocks, but this is a bit, well it's a bit rubbish really, but anyway, what can you do? There's a little ammo bar, you go, you go as soon as they pop up you hear a little alert noise which gives you the heebie jeebies. And uh, you got to quickly blast them, because otherwise if you, don't, if you don't blast them you die basically, which ain't nice. Here's yet another one. That weird stuff there looks like a little sad face. That's what the uh, aliens use to get around. You're supposed to blast it uh, before it, because it grows more and more, but it's a waste of ammo. You ain't got much ammo either. So. There I get the bastard. Whatever you do, you never shoot him in front of a door, because if you do that, well, you have, they leave a little uh, pile of uh, acidy poo, or what have you and you step on that your your feet melt and you you die which ain't nice and it also uh, just means you're trapped basically and you, you can't go nowhere for ages it's fucking hopeless now we're trying to hunt down the alien queen now she's a big fat mama you know she mopes around the place all day you know moaning watching Trisha that sort of thing but she also lays lots of eggs which not the sort you can have with your, you know, morning fry up after a night on the town, you know, piss up. But uh, yeah, they they the host of face huggers, you know. So we want to get rid of her because she's up to no good, and we can't be having that. Now, when they get that close, the aliens, uh, that's when you start shitting yourself. But Vasquez is on hand. She's there. Uh, she's on her way to the armory to stock up more ammo. She probably died before she gets there. It's non-stop at the moment. Blast, blast, blast. Die, die, die. That's the indicate to say that we've got through the first uh, batch of aliens. Now they come in waves, as aliens tend to do in games. You know, ever since Space Invaders, that's, they start a trend, didn't they? And uh, that's been seems to continue ever since. You know, as the game progresses, they get more and more pissed off, more and more fed up, because they take offence apparently. Aliens, that if you start shooting their mates, they don't like that kind of thing. But you know, I've got a big fuck off gun. They're trying to kill me. So what they expect, basically. Anyway, Gorham here, he's. Hey, he's not frightened of these aliens. He perhaps he should be though. He's a bit wet behind the ears after all, isn't he? Bit of a wimp really, I know. They're coming for you. Well, that's Gorham dead. Mind you, he always was an arsehole, weren't he? Anyway, so you just go around. You can order people around, uh you can actually give them directions to carry, you know, to, to go places. Which makes it a lot easier, but you do need a map to get around, that's the thing. If you haven't got a map in this game, you're fucked basically. So I've got one from a website, which is really useful. And it's such a massive game. The fact that the game is so big does make it annoying when you do finally get somewhere far into the complex and your character dies because you missed the alien by an inch! Anyway, you've got to rescue Newt as well, you can do all sorts of stuff. You've got you got to protect the control room from being overrun by aliens because if that happens, the lights go out and you can't see fuck all, which makes it impossible, which isn't what you want. There's Burke there, hurry up and die now. Hicks has been impregnated by an alien, they st they, uh, face hugger's got to him, and he's any second now, well, an alien's going to pop out of his chest, which is going to be pretty painful and going to make a hell of a mess of his clothes. Anyway, you can rescue him but if you're quick, but he's too far away, so he's fucked basically. Anyway, I'll give this game 7 out of 10 because it's pretty scary.